Welcome to WebStarbus. How to get country information in JavaScript. In this tutorial, we are going to populate country list. Then on selecting a country, country information will be displayed such as country name, official country name, TLD, currency information, region, sub-region, longitude, latitude, area, flag, maps, time zones, continents and more. All by using JavaScript. We are going to use a REST API for this. Look at this, we have got everything here. Country name, common name, TLD, country code, currencies, capital, region, sub-region, languages, translations, longitude, latitude, area, flag, maps, population, time zones, currencies, continents, flags, capital info, and you can also get single country information as well. So let's use this API to populate country list and then show country information. This is our HTML page. And this is the HTML that we've got. A select field with the ID country select. On change event handler that will trigger a function fetch country info an option field to start with a div with id country info that will display fetched information about the country we plan to populate all countries in select field dynamically then if we select a country from the list country information will be displayed here so remember these select id country select function fetched country info and result id country info we will need script tags so this will be the function to fetch country list from the api and populate this like field and then second function will fetch and display information about the selected country so these are two async functions fetch countries and fetch country info inside the functions we have got try catch blocks and then initial fetch countries function call okay this first function will call api fetch all the countries and populate list of countries in select field send an asynchronous http get request to the rest countries api to retrieve data about all countries Wait for the HTTP response and then convert it from JSON into a JavaScript object. Select the HTML element with the ID country select, which is select field, drop down field. Sort countries alphabetically by name. Let's see what have we got. We have got the data. So we've got the data and we have sorted it alphabetically. Loop through each country object in the sorted array. For each country, create a new option element for the drop down. Set the value of the option to the country's CCA2 code, which is the two letter country code. For example, this one. Then set the text content of the option to the common name of the country. Name dot common. Name common. Then append this option element to the select field. So let's see. Yes, we have got the list of countries populated here. Now, if a country is selected from the drop down list, Get the country code value for selected country from the select field. If there is no country code, don't do anything. And if we have country code, then make a fetch request to the rest countries API for data about a single country identified by its country code. Use this API URL and append country code that is coming from here. Await for the response and convert response from JSON format to the JavaScript object. 
response is an array and we will take the first element from the array. Get the HTML element with the ID country info where the country information will be displayed. Here. Because a country can have multiple currencies, so we are processing each currency of the country by mapping over the currency's object values. For each currency, we are creating a string that contains the country's name and symbol and joining all these strings with a comma. Here we set the inner HTML of the info div to a template string that includes the country's common and official name with an H2 tag. Italy, and here is the country name and official country name. Similarly, we can get all the information about the country, like this country.name.official, country.flags, SVG, country.name common, country.capital, country.tld. Currencies, country region, country sub region, country lat long, country area, country time zones, continents, start of week, country map links. So here we have received all the information. Let's see. Italy. And see, we've got the name, official name, country flag, capital. Top level domain, currencies, region, sub region, longitude, latitude, area, time zones, continents, start of week, and maps. If we click at the maps, Google Map, and here we have it. And open street map. There we go. So here we have received all the information about the country. This information is very helpful. In this example, we have selected the country to display information. In my previous tutorials, we learned how to get the visitor's IP address. And from IP, how to get country name and country code. If we use those examples together with this one, we may not need this select field. We can detect IP, find country name and country code, and then find country information from that information, like this, using this API. Look for the links in the video description for related resources. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.